Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I'm good. It's getting late. So I'm just going to kind of do an intro real quick and talk about what's going on or what will probably be going on in the morning. My new pots came in so I can get these mule palms repotted. Last weekend, I popped those queen palms and had to use the pots that the mule palms were being repotted into. I went ahead. You can see the scraps of their old pots right there. So I went ahead, I took my sawzall and cut those pots off of there. When they get this big, you just kind of have to do it that way. I record it in slow motion, it's probably unnecessary, but that's what that is. Pulled the pots off and now I'm pretty much ready to get going. I've been pulling the excess out of these pots. And what I'm doing here is just using these gray pots as an insert. So that in the fall time, I can lift these back out and move the mule palms back inside where they won't be damaged by the cold. I did have to take an awful lot out, and there has to be a decent amount of gravel down in there, or else the pots might blow over. Can't have that, but it is it is getting kind of dark. Things are kind of grainy. I don't really prefer things that way, so we'll pick back up tomorrow. Oh, and also it's been raining a ton, so I just I need to let some of my potting soil dry out a little bit before I get mixing that up too, because I can't use the same soil that I used for the queen palms. Hey, Tobes. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. You gonna say hi? No? Okay. I want to use something that drains a little bit better, even though queen palms need really good drainage. The mule palms being part butia, they need even more better drainage. So butia being the pindu palms, they rot pretty easily when temperatures get kind of cold. And I leave them out when things are a little bit nippy outside. So got to do that. What a great shot. This is all from the birch trees. The wind's been blowing these things on. I call them scabs because that's what they look like. And it's just, I got cleaning to do. Seriously? Those dang grackle birds are so gross. This windmill palm here, because it adds a little bit of extra protection, because when I'm sitting here at the table, the birds fly overhead and they poop. Like, they throw the poop at me. I can't stand them. Look at the umbrella. Look at it. Now, chances are it's just like, oh, that's blue, the pool's blue. But I just, I just rotated the umbrella. This side was clear and was over there. Okay? So this is the part that had been above my head for a week. So there, I, I'm so... I think they're aiming for me. That's that's what it's got to be. No, I know. I'm giving the birds way too much credit. It is a beautiful morning. Very humid and muggy, and it feels like summer, and I love it. Oh, yeah, and I already planted up one of them. I couldn't wait. I had to get one of them done. So I came through, and I made sure to cut out the old sweet potato vines. I still need to do that with this one. You can see those are still in here. I took a bunch of them out, but there's still some left. Yeah. See? Those are last year's sweet potato vines. I'll still use them, I won't throw them away, but they're not going in the pots. Cause like I mentioned in last week's video, it was just too much. <laughs> they were way too big. I'm good on sweet potato vines. Yeah. There's another one. To lightly loosen up the root memory a little bit. Palm trees like to be somewhat root bound. So as long as things are a little bit frizzy down here, and that's pretty much all it should need. There we go. So see these are kind of sticking out a little bit. That's perfect. That's all it needs to be. And then for a potting mix, I've gone ahead and just used the standard potting soil, added an awful lot of sand to it, a little bit of perlite, because it already had a bunch of perlite in it. There's orchid bark in here, nice hardwood orchid chunk, orchid chunks, wood chunks that are in there. That's just gonna help kind of create a more airy Make sure that should drain a little bit better. So you can see some of that bark, the little pieces of bark in there. And then there is Espoma Biotone Starter and Espoma Palm Tone. Oh, and I added like a handful of compost just to help enrich things and get all the good stuff going in here, which is essentially what the Biotone Starter is. So it's like doubling up on that one. The main thing is that it is extremely sandy. Hopefully that shows up on camera. I can kind of see it. Lots and lots of sand. And unfortunately, the root memory just sort of is shaped the way it's shaped, so I'm not really going to be able to center this. I remember that being something that annoyed me with one of these, and I think that it was this one. See, I'm not... It's not going to be quite centered. Suppose I could pull it and, like, really loosen up the roots on the other side, but I just I don't want to put them through more than they need to be. I want them to really take off with the new planting, which would mean not destroying them from the get-go when it's unnecessary. And it's pretty close to... No, no it's not, but it's fine. Changed my mind. That was gonna drive me crazy. 
And the mule palms have always responded actually fairly well to having the roots pruned up a little bit. Every year when I plant annuals in here, I usually have to kind of cut some holes in here. And they seem to actually kind of appreciate it. When they get refilled, they flush out very heavily. I didn't even have to take off very much. I mostly just went in, loosened up the roots, and tried to get a bunch of the soil out for the most part. And uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't have to go over the top or anything like that. A few roots isn't a big deal. These aren't a palm like a sable palm where when you cut the root, the entire root dies off. I may have to thin it a little bit more, but I think that that's going to make a big difference. Okay, so that didn't really help center it very much, but that's all right. I'm gonna go through here now and drop in a sweet potato vine on each side, lightly loosening the root memory on there, like so. They are planted a smidge higher than the surface. That is because this hot pavement I noticed last summer, I noticed that the darker pavement I stained the patio, that things had a little bit more of a tendency to rot than they used to. So having them planted up just a little bit higher is going to help just that top layer dry out a little bit faster. I do put these on drip so I can mostly control their moisture, but sometimes it's just easier. You know, it's 100 degrees outside and then afternoon storms and whatnot. That can do things in. It's more of an issue for the petunias than for these sweet potato vines, though. This is something you can also do with plants like lavender. If you live someplace where summer gets really hot and wet and you know lavender rosemary mediterranean type plants in general just don't appreciate that kind of hot wet weather if you have them up just a smidge just a little bit above the surface of the soil just having them lifted up a little bit can make a really big difference in the hot wet weather like i said it's not really an issue for these sweet potato vines I need to turn that a little bit and i'm going to do a super tunia vista bubble gum on each side here <laughs> the ones i'm using are the ones I picked up on clearance from Walmart and I don't know, a vlog or two ago. So they're looking a little bit shabby, but they'll bounce back. I might even give them a cut back. We'll see about that. Hopefully that wasn't all hand in there and you could see what I was doing. Hey, all done. Well, not really, still need to water it in, but this has been one of those things on my list this year that I've been it's been driving me crazy not having this done. Although I do still want to come in and trim up these straps on here because those are those could look a lot better. And I could need to add some more soil sometimes. It's hard to tell until you water it and that helps distribute the potting soil a little bit. If I do have to add more soil, I'm going to have to mix it up because I use every single bit that was in my wheelbarrow. But I think no, this should be good. You can see over here on this one I went in and I made those cuts to kind of tidy that up. I just think it looks a lot better when those are trimmed much closer to the trunk. So, gonna come in here and prune those up too. There we go, that's better. Nice and tidy. There is a strap down here that's ready to come off, but not quite. That's how these trunks start to form when the boots start to come off from down low. That's where they start to reveal the woody base. That one's not quite ready, I'm gonna leave it. After this flushes out, then that's going to thicken out and that'll probably come off on its own. At least, ideally, that's how that would work. Really happy to have this done. It's just nice to have done because it's kind of like the kickoff to the year. Normally, this is a very easy thing. I just pull them out from my garage, drop them in here, add some extra soil, dig them out a little bit and pop the annuals in. But since I was repotting them this year, Took a little bit longer because I had to get the materials and everything. I had to use the pots I was going to use for those mule palms for those queen palms down there, which I mentioned earlier. Hey, Tuck. How you doing, bud? Yeah, good boy. So, mission accomplished. I have cleaning to do. Should I bother? It's going to be a messy day out here. So, I mean, I'm trying to keep things tidy as I go. And by tidy, I mean, like, keeping my mess on the tarp. So, I'll clean all that stuff up and put it on the tarp. But as far as, like needing to wash and get the dirt off. I think I might wait. This is with using a tarp. How did that even happen? I guess it happened because I was doing things in the dark. I just, I was so excited to get that one done. I had to do it last night. And turned out the soil wasn't as wet as I thought it would be. Hey baby boy, you still a good boy, Tucker. That's not for you. Neither is that. Um, someone left the gate open. Tucker, you are such a good boy. You're such a good boy, you didn't run away. I'm so proud of you and someone's in trouble. One of my friends apparently doesn't know how to close the gate. That's not okay. They actually have spring hinges in them, so they're supposed to swing back shut, so I'm a little bit glad that happened because now I know I need to tighten them. It's a safety thing. That way your gate's not open and children can't 
wandering to the yard, so I guess that's going to be my next top priority is to fix that. I'll go do that right now. You good boy, Tucker. Yeah, good baby boy. <sighs> this thing needs so much water. I got to get it potted up. I need to find some things that'll look nice with this with these flowers on here. I need to trim back this Lespedeza over here, but the cardinals are just having a blast playing in it. I think they're nesting. Because I, I, you're not going to be able to see her, but Mama and Papa Cardinal have been playing in there. So I was thinking I could go in and maybe cut up little twigs and scatter it around in there because I think they're trying to break off the brick. Maybe I should just leave it. I'll just leave it for today and let them do their thing because I, I don't want to disturb them. I need to... Okay, so the bulk of this vlog, a lot of it is going to be repotting palm trees. That's what I was trying to do last week. So I have this windmill palm here that needs to be repotted. Another one... Actually, I have three total that need to be repotted. Which is what these brown pots are for. I was only able to find two of them. That's alright, I can find something else for the other one. Then over here, this Robolini. So last week, I went to a different nursery to pick up a pot to put this Robolini in. That's this brown pot right here. But I think I'm going to do something different with it. Last summer, I potted up really big Peruvian cactus. Um, a uh, night blooming, Pru a serious Peruvianus. And uh, the problem was, hold on. Guys, my mind is just like spinning with all the different things I need to do. I'm having trouble focusing, so I apologize. This pot back here, this plastic pot, I have two of these, and you can see they're fairly tall, big gray pots. I think the Robolini would be better in one of those, which is what I put that Peruvianus in. The Peruvianus, because that was such a deep pot, I filled it halfway with lava rock, which I shouldn't have done. I was hoping to use packing peanuts, but I couldn't find any. But it's been about a year and I've been saving up my packing peanuts. So I think what I'm actually going to do is move my cactus into the brown pot that I picked up last, well actually I picked up the gray pot last weekend, but that's, you have to watch last week's vlog, it's too much to explain. So I'm going to move the cactus into that pot I picked up last week, because it's more shallow. And the one I, with the lava rock being in the one that it's in right now, it's just so heavy. It pops the tires on my dolly every time I move it. So that will make a big difference. Problem is, I'm like just short on packing peanuts. I hate to buy them because they're so bad for the environment. I don't really want to encourage it. But I also really want to get this done. So I think I'm going to run to Walmart and see if they have them there. And um, it's, you know, Memorial Day weekend. Maybe there will be some sales or something. I'm probably not going to do much in the garden department, but I'm going to head out there. I kind of want to get a coffee anyways. I've been trying to cut back on coffee, but I feel like I could use it today. Although with the speed I'm talking, I'm thinking maybe I don't need to. There's just so much to be done. Lots and lots and lots of planting and cleaning. So I want to get moving. You know, in the past, I would have just like kind of gone and gotten my things and not bothered everybody with it. But y'all keep talking about how much you enjoy my rambling. So there you go. You're welcome. Hi, pumpkin. How you doing? You say hi? How's it going, baby girl? How's it going? You been busy? Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, I know. You got things to do. It's Toby's blankets on the ground. Wait, what? Did you try to make me feel bad? Oh, ho, ho, you want some love. Do your stretches. You roll over? Blinken. You roll over? Yeah, good girl, but that was a good rollover. Yeah, it was. A little bit of kitty time for everybody. And then I'm going to go to Walmart. I guess I can go now. You good girl. Such a good baby girl. Yes, you are. Walmart on Memorial Day weekend. Thinking I'm going to regret this. Wow, the sky's really pretty. There's no rain in the forecast, but something tells me that's probably not true. We'll see what's going on there with the plants. Their selection doesn't change much, so there might not be anything to look at. It might just be cutting back to me at home. Who knows? I know nothing about this, but I want it just because it's hollow and it's pretty. Oh, that's cute. I'm very much enjoying the vintage fan thing that's been going on. I like those a lot. They're really adorable. It's a nice throwback. Um, can I buy wiper blades here? I'm pretty sure I can. I used to. Now there's a throwback. You guys remember these things? You hook them up into your visor and stuff them with CDs. Man, I used to have so many of those things. My visors were like stuffed full of them. And then I had the CD case that like opened up kind of like an accordion with all my stuff in there. Is that comfortable? Sitting on rhinestones? I guess it's not on the booty part. Still, I don't, I don't know if I'd like that. Let's see here, Mazda, Mercedes, oh, this music's too loud, I can't record right now. That's enough of all the other stuff. Plants. Like I said, nothing's changed. 
Oh my gosh, why? Why? It's not even, I mean, it's just like a cheap bolt. That's absolutely ridiculous. Palladiums are a good price. Look at the size of these things. They're huge. And, um, 17? You can divide these up like crazy. I should get one. Yep. Perfect. I mean, look at, that's gigantic. Maybe you can get this for $5 or 17 What do you think? And this can be divided up into a whole bunch of plants. I'm liking all these little crotons they have over here. Make a nice filler, something to add in, add some contrast to a planter. I think, yep, those are dead. A whole bunch of dead fruit trees. It's almost June, those should be flushed out by now. So they only had one wiper that would fit my car, like literally just one in stock of the 19 inches, which kind of stinks because it was the most, one of the most expensive wipers that they had, these Michelin ones that like leave a coating. I don't, my favorite wipers I've ever used were like the cheapest ones they sell. I think they're five or six dollars. See, they say on here, turn on wipers and wipe dry at medium speed for three to five minutes. Okay, fine, whatever. But the problem is I only got one wiper. So that like, that's gonna wear that one out. So I did it for like two minutes. I found that the wipers that you guys, maybe you've had different experience, but when I've used wipers like the Rain-X ones or anything that leaves like a coating on the windshield, they don't seem to last as long. And like I said before, it's not forecasted, but it definitely looks like it's probably going to rain. And no packing peanuts, but that's fine because I realized while I was there, I think it would make a lot more sense to use um, old plastic pots. I have tons of nursery pots. I mean, from all the stuff I plant, I'll just use that. That'll work just as well. That should be fine. Oh, can you guys see that? It's raining down there. Not here, but just down the way. That's kind of cool. I mean, not really, because I was going to run by Lowe's, and Lowe's is in that rain. I assume that's rain, right? Can you see what I'm talking about? Just like right up ahead of us? I'm going to drive right into it? I know it's not that big of a deal like that happens all the time. But it's still kind of neat. Like I said, though, not when I'm heading into the rain. I wonder how long this is going to last. Oh, yeah. It's definitely raining up there. And hey, you know what, though? Talk about good timing to remember that I need new wipers, right? I mean, like, an immediate wiper review here. Come around here. So I did that thing, so... I don't know, it doesn't really look like it's beating up that much better on the driver's side than the passenger side, do you think? Eh, maybe a little bit. I'll turn the wiper on. Oh, that's so much better. I've been without a good... The wiper on the passenger side really is kind of okay. It was the driver's side one that I needed to replace. I've been talking about wiper blades for way too long, but just like how serendipitous that it would start to rain when it wasn't even supposed to, right when I get a new wiper blade. Perfect timing. Glad I spent over an hour watering plants this morning, though. I mean, probably still necessary, because who knows how long this will last. And I will say though, the driver's side, definitely getting a better wipe than the passenger side. You see, it's already starting to lighten up. I need to go inside. I still haven't picked out a new refrigerator yet, so I should do that. Um, and maybe, oh, look at that, it's stopping. Nothing like a nice little afternoon shower. Oh no, their top's open. And they're right there. So obviously they know that the top's open to their, Hmm. I guess that is better. A little bit more clear. What do you think? A little bit? I don't know if it's worth the money, though. Everything just turned into a windshield wiper review. I'm not going to pick out a fridge right now. I need to find out how much it costs to add the ice maker onto the one I'm looking at. This is not... Nobody cares. And also, I should mention, I was just here yesterday, that Friday, the going to Lowe's video. That was just yesterday. I already started picking up for for the vlog for next week. So there really isn't much to show because that, that was just here. Everything's in that video from last week. Oh, these majesty bombs. I was, why is that loud noise gonna happen right when I hit record? I was thinking I should get potting soil since it's Memorial Day weekend and it's on sale, but the one I like, not on sale. It's good mulch though. I've in a pinch before used this as potting soil. I like this one a lot.
I know it would make more sense to have someone deliver my mulch. <laughs> it would be a lot cheaper and a lot easier. But, um, well, it wouldn't be a ton cheaper. Just a little bit cheaper. But it's not, um, I don't like it. The stuff that gets delivered, I haven't found anybody who delivers it that I like it as much. I need to get some sand, too, and potting soil. I like the sand. It's a nice powdery grit, very fine grit, which is good for mixing in with tropicals that like a sandy soil. Sometimes sand at the hardware stores can be like really big and grainy, and um, I don't like that. And sand does retain moisture, so even though it helps with drainage, it's still something you've got to be kind of careful with. But I like I like them talking about sand for way way too long. These big time blue lavenders. The tag says it's a newer variety that has like larger than normal flower spikes on it. Minus 10 to minus 20, so a zone 5. Hmm. Smells good. See, the issue I'm having though is they all seem to be a little bit over potted. And um, kind of shabby looking. They look okay. Not great for being a $10 Monrovia plant though, and I do need some lavender, but I don't think this is the direction I need to go. That's all I need. Hey, hi. That's all I need. Oh, look at these marigolds. Who loves a nice marigold? Just kidding, it's a Coriopsis. Looks like it though, doesn't it? It's really cool. It's a neat variety. It says it blooms all summer and it likes the heat. I mean, a lot of Coriopsis do, but that's cool. And then I like to plant a lot of impatience in my front yard, and they're on sale right now. I'm getting two flats here, so there's 60 in each. The problem is these are the only two colors. And I feel like they kind of clash a little bit. Like, I like them together, but I don't know. I need a flat of white, too, I think, or at least half a flat. Something to help break it up, but they don't have that. All right, I'm going to try this other Lowe's because it's on the way home. No, it's not, just kidding. It's like 20 minutes out of the way. But I would kind of like to have these things ready to get going so that I can just move and get things done. Just since they're on sale, I figure I should go ahead and check it out because I'm probably not gonna find a deal much better. I hate this parking lot. It's not conducive to a big car at all. That's not gonna work. Where am I gonna park? There we go. Found a place to put my transportation machine. Okay, I don't know the layout of this Lowe's. I'm not seeing any, like, six-packs anywhere. I would hope they wouldn't be over here, because it's very sunny for impatience. Oh, honeysuckle smells so good. Oh, okay, they're outside. This isn't very convenient. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm only seeing the same colors the other one had, so... Oh, well. Well, that was a waste of time, but there, I, the road I normally take to get here, this road, Manchester Road, St. Louis, I avoid it at all costs. I take back roads, and they were putting up cones on my way out here, which means that I probably shouldn't take that road to get home, because it's going to be a two-lane, two-way road switched down to one lane. So I'm going to take the long way, and there is a nursery I will pass there, and I do get a discount, so... I'll check that out. Maybe they had the impatience on sale. The only, like, the problem is I can't just do three colors with the impatience. Or, I mean, two would be terrible. Three would be probably even worse. I need a wide variety because if I don't have that, I try and establish a pattern and I will drive myself absolutely mad when I plant them trying to establish a pattern, which I don't want to do. I just want to just toss them in the ground and be done with it. Blue balls. I always really like the way it looks when people put those ceramic balls into their garden. I've just, my garden's always so full, I've never really been able to pull it off. I absolutely love this pottery. And, well, I have this pottery. <laughs> That's why I like it. Home! Oh. There we go. Got my impatience. That's all gonna be in a different video. But I got them, so it's good. Got them on sale, too. So That's even better. Talk about a productive morning. Got some palm trees planted, got soil mixed up, got a new fridge. Well, not yet, but picked out the new fridge. So that's exciting. I've gone ahead and drilled a big hole in the middle of each one of these and go ahead and drop the windmill palms in. I sometimes drill holes on the sides. I don't think I need to do that with these guys. I did it over there with that spindle palm because it seemed necessary. Oh, you know what though? I think it's probably necessary with this one too, because 
see how the water is pulling up there? I'll go ahead and do that too. Drill some holes in the sides. There we go, so that gives the water a little bit more of a place to go. I just did two, that's fine, that's all that you need. And I showed how I did that in a different video, so hopefully I'll have that inserted and whatnot. So you can see what I did there, I just start from the top and move it a little bit to the side and boom. It's not super noticeable, I mean it kind of is, but I'm okay with that for the longevity of the plant. It's fine. Ooh, this is going to be a big upgrade. You can see there's still some pecking peanuts down there. It's not root wrapped or anything, which I'm kind of surprised by, so that's good. Definitely going to have to mix up some more soil though. Right, mix this soil up. I just use standard potting soil. Add an Espoma Biotone starter, some sand, actually a lot of sand. Using some palm tone here, because these are palm trees. Orchid bark and slow release fertilizer. And the measuring cup that just fell out of the bag. Then I mix that up until it's even all the way through and start filling in the pots. And that's all there is to it. I do I need I need more soil, so I already ran out. I just got online. It's gotten kind of late here. You know, it's been a long day doing things. And there's a Lowe's in Lake St. Louis, which isn't actually in St. Louis. It's about 15, 16 miles away. I only know that because it's what the website said. It's like, I don't know, probably 17 to 25 minutes. Somewhere in there to go get that, get to that location. They say they have six of these pots in stock. And I still have one of these palms to repot. So... Let's go. Might be dark when I get there, but may as well go get it, right? Oh, if I can make it to the highway fast enough, we can watch the sunset together. We're heading west. How romantic. Doesn't seem likely, though, because the person in front of me is literally going like 15 miles an hour. Why are the gates closed? What the heck's that about? It's prime planting time, people! You're gonna shut things off to customers? That's dumb. Almost as dumb as still parking over where I can't enter or exit. That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, isn't that weird though? I mean, they don't close until 11. It's only like 8. What's that about? Oh, it is cute in here though, isn't it? I mean, it's the same is the other ones, but I like the layout. <laughs> Apparently that's it for the house plants, though. Okay, I don't see it, but I'm not gonna freak out about that now because all the other times I found, well, the two other times I found the pot, it was like just randomly sitting in an aisle. Wasn't on shelves or anything like that. So, guess I gotta wander. I like the layout here, this reminds me of my favorite Lowe's in Florida. Just orange on those, okay. That's a trend, apparently, at the different lows. Okay, there's the sand-colored one. Where's the rust? I don't see it. They have six of the sandstone-colored ones, which is online it said they had six in stock, but it checked. I checked three times, because I was like, does this say rust? Rust is the color I need. And that's what it said. Oh, I think I might see it. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, I've been all over the place trying to find just one more of these. That's dirty. Oh my gosh. I got so excited about my pot, I walked off and left my phone sitting on the shelf. May as well browse a little bit. Came all the way out here. I don't really, I don't think there's much more to see than what you can see here though. Color guard yuccas. These are an awesome <laughs> evergreen perennial. They are tough, tough as nails for full sun. A lot of grasses out here, which makes sense. This area is much more like prairie-like, you could say. The part of me, deep down, that has spent like the last two weeks trying to locate just one more of these pots, well two more, I got the other one in last week's vlog, which was really just two days ago for me, that part of me is like, you need to buy all of them, but I don't, I don't need to, that's not necessary. 
Just one, that's fine. I can't, I don't understand why these gates are closed. That's so stupid. Eh, selections laid out different, pretty much the same as all the others. Time to go home. Good morning. Good morning, doggies. Oh, you ready for breakfast, Toby? Ready for your breakfast? You gonna stop going crazy now that I turn the camera on? Pa, thanks. I would say it's a beautiful morning, but oh, it is humid. Right, Tuck? Yeah, I don't blame you. I want to get in there too. Done with the windmill palms, though. This is incredibly backlight. I just gotta keep going with it, though. So, uh, got that done, finally, right? I do still want to add some annuals into these, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I know I said I was gonna do annuals, but here's the debris, what's, I had to take out any dead roots or anything like that. And I'll take this and I'll spread it in the garden, it'll help enrich the actual, like, garden soil. So it's not going to waste, not that I don't, does anybody, this isn't the kind of thing people usually care about going to waste. But right, over here, or now right here, I have some impatience. You know, in this vlog and in the last vlog, I've just, I've been to Lowe's a ton and these have been on sale from Memorial Day weekend, which it's not by the time this video comes out, but I think we're all on the same page there. And these were like two for nine bucks. I got this one and then uh, a um, darker pink one that I'm going to be using in something else. But I'm going to try and divide these up. Now, impatients don't really respond that great to being divided, but I'm going to do it anyways because the windmill palms, I like to keep them in more of a part sun to part shade sort of lighting situation. I just find that their foliage looks a lot better when they're not grown in like direct burning sun all day long. You tend to get bigger leaves, slightly longer petioles and whatnot. So, and they're in recovery mode, particularly this one. I had to remove a lot of dead roots from that one. So I think that uh, lighting wise, they should play fine together. They'll be getting mostly just morning sun. And uh, these aren't going to look amazing right off the bat. It's gonna take them a while to grow in, but that's all right. Save the money. Oh, Tucker, that looks so nice. What's the point of shaking off while you're in the pool? You're still gonna be wet. That doesn't make any sense, Tucker. Okay, that's done. Yeah, kind of scrappy looking. I think I'll probably go through and top the pink impatience. Just probably cut those about in half so that they'll fill out and things will be a little bit more even. I still have a basket left, two oranges left, and that's fine. I'll put them together, use them for something. I do still want something else in these. I think it needs purple. You know, I've really been into the orange, pink, purple thing this year. And I have a flat of nobilia here. And it's purple-ish. I mean, I'd call that purple, but for some reason, people always correct me when it comes to colors. So maybe I just, I don't see them normal. I don't know. You know, lobelia can take a decent amount of sun, but I have noticed when it's hot out, they seem to do a lot better for me when it's just like, I'm sorry. I've noticed when it's hot out, however, that they seem to do a lot better with more of just like morning sun as opposed to sun all day long. I didn't even do the math to make sure I have enough to do three in each one of these. That probably wasn't smart. <laughs> Look at me still going, apparently. Just don't care. I don't really need to do the math. I have two six packs. That's plenty. I only need nine of them. There we go. I came inside to <laughs> get some water and took a quick phone call. It literally just like maybe four or five minutes. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Did you know, Toby? Did you know? My goodness. It's just a lot of reflections. You can't see what's going on. You can kinda, it's just rain. Very windy rain though, right? I feel like this, how was this not? Shouldn't they have said severe storms? Heavy rainfall? Something? Something other than just chance of scattered rain? Oh yeah, you good boy Tobes, yeah. You okay, Pumpkin? Pumpkin, you alright? Yeah, you brave little toaster, right Pumpkin? You good girl. She used to get so terrified from rain and thunder, she'd run away and hide from the slightest loud sound outside, which was really frustrating during tornado season, because you know, how do you get her to the basement if she's hiding? But she's being so good this year. Yes, you are. No, don't go over there. People will see the stain. People will see the stain on the carpet. It's gross. You know, dogs, carpeting, not always a good combination. Even with the carpet cleaner. So excited about getting a new fridge in a few days. 
gonna go ahead and give this a few more minutes, but it's not looking like this is gonna let up anytime soon. Uh oh. That's not good. That came out of my tree. So I guess I should go do something about it. This tree's dead too. The tree companies are all backed up, so it's gonna be a few weeks till we can come out and remove it, which is why I haven't done anything in my front yard yet. Come out, Tobes. You're a good boy. You're like a farm dog. You stick around. That branch is much bigger than I thought it was. Really, Toby, that was rude. You notice there's one less palm tree here? It's because it's over here now. I started to, before it started raining, get this area prepped because I was gonna start packing it in and filling it in and getting all the leaves cleaned out and everything and making it pretty again, but everything's soaking wet now, so I just, I'm just not going to do that. Next week, maybe I'll do a midweek vlog. The way my schedule is this week, it's going to be really hard for me to find time to edit a video, so if there's nothing until like Thursday, I'm sorry. I planted this up and that video is pretty much ready to go. This poor thing just looks terrible. Well, I mean, it's, the video's not ready to go, I still need to edit it. But what I'm saying is I don't think I'm going to have time to edit a video because this week's really busy. So sorry about that. But I'm talking about next week. Maybe I'll do a midweek vlog of just putting the plants into like their fun arrangements. Because it's time to really get the ball moving out here. It has been for a while. Things have just been busy. And whenever it's been nice out, I haven't been available to do things. And when it's raining is when I've been able to do things. So it hasn't just, it just things just haven't worked scheduling wise. That's life. That's how it goes. I need to dig this trench out, I guess, a little bit deeper. You can see where the water flooded out onto the patio. These birch trees are so messy. Those are my neighbor's birch trees, and I just, I hate them. They're such messy trees. They drop leaves all summer, and they drop, like, these things that look like worms. They're little seed pods, and then those turn into just being, like, these scabby things that fall out of... I, I don't like them. They're beautiful trees, though. I'll give them that. They're gorgeous trees. So I like the way a birch tree looks, but not the maintenance. Man, they're messy. And it was like this before the storm. Not quite this bad, but I mean, it's been a constant, like, just always cleaning leaves. Not going to complain, though, because it's a pool, so champagne problems, right? I mean, I guess I just did complain about it, but you know what I mean. Look at the crotons are always so pretty after a rain. They're so shiny and vibrant they color up so nice this is good lighting if it wasn't drizzling right now i'd go ahead and start filming other videos but i don't want to take my camera outside when things are like this what is that someone here oh you better go find out who it is go be a guard dog yeah you don't know what that means you're not a guard dog that's not your thing that's okay you just be you you're perfect toby it is really dark out and yeah i like i was saying i was really hoping to get more done this vlog but instead I obsessively was trying to find matching pots, which I could have just, you know, done the online search thing to begin with. But I didn't want to have to go to those other locations. But since I was heading out that way anyways, because Bay lives out there, it's like I may as well check. I wish the uh, Biotone Espoma, they put these slideys on the little bags, not on the big bags though. Like, why? Because if that gets wet and soupy in there, it's basically ruined it gets disgusting and stinky so i have to keep making sure to set it underneath the table when i'm not using it and i just put a slidey on the big expensive bag I, that would be nice i wonder how the pedicets held up through that rain i didn't see any hail so there shouldn't be any damage somebody asked me what i do to protect my plants when the weather is really bad like hail and everything and the honest answer is nothing Anything that's extremely delicate, I'd try and keep someplace that's already sheltered. These guys usually show the most damage. They look fine, though. They look great, actually. These, the variegated ones, are the Pedicis japonicus variegata. And then these big ones with the solid green leaves are just Pedicis gigantis, gigantia, something like that. I planted all these about three years ago, and this is the first year that they're really starting to take off. And these... These are gigantic. Look at the size of these leaves. They're huge. These are gigantic plants. They're not variegated, and I like the variegation on the variegated ones. They remind me of, like, the pothos. But, I mean, these are really cool. Like, really, really cool. This is the biggest they've ever been. I guess, you know, it takes things a few years. You order them in tiny little pots, and this is the first year they've taken off. And it's really, 
Might throw a bit of a wrench in my plan for this berm here, which is getting an entire facelift here, hopefully soon, sometime mid-June, hopefully. As I had talked about, I was gonna underplant this entire berm with impatience, but if this is the spread I'm looking at, I don't see a point in doing that. These typically do their spread in, uh, I guess, the f like this growing season, they'll put out their rhizomes, and then in the spring, they'll come up in all of their new locations. So eventually they'll keep working their way down and fill in this entire berm. So I probably won't be underplanting with impatience like I've been planning on doing. This is where I've been dumping a lot of the extra dirt that's been coming out of the pottery and everything and spreading that out and gonna go through here and get weeds. These are all mostly little maple trees from the maple tree up there. But uh, I do have those ostrich ferns that are supposed to get three to five feet tall. So those would hopefully be able to grow up above everything. I think that's gonna look really neat. Especially when I go ahead and do every, like do away with these, not do away, plant up these alakajas. I'm gonna kind of tuck them in here for a little bit of privacy. The skip laurels, I've talked about putting skip laurels in over there and I still plan on doing it. But it's just, it's gonna have to wait a minute. So in the meantime, the alakajas are gonna go in here. I have something I'm doing on each side of this path here. Got some more of these luteas here, which look like they got a little bit of storm damage. They'll be okay though. Main thing is, which will either be a midweek vlog or next week's vlog, is I'm going to get all the tropicals put where they need to be. And uh, whatever needs to be repotted, repotted. I'll probably do that portion of everything off camera. Because, like, you guys have seen enough of it. You've seen the soil blend. I don't alter it too much, with the exception maybe for, like, the anthyrums. I would add a lot more orchid bark into it, into that soil blend. But otherwise, it's pretty much just the same deal over and over again. So once I have all those tropicals put away and repotted and everything, I can start popping the annuals in the ground and perennials and it's just like it's gonna be so much fun it just needs to stop raining please really is a double-edged sword though i like the rain because that's less time i have to spend watering and this oh my gosh it was so hot this morning just a, i mean a few minutes ago i was complaining about it miserably i mean it was humid that's the thing is the air was stale it was very humid and now i'm <laughs> kind of cold Go figure, right? This one needs to be repotted too. I'm gonna repot it just like I did the other one, so there's no need for that to be in a video. I think it's gonna be a lot of before and afters in that vlog, because it's time to speed things up here. This banana, they never really get that big, the clump that's in this corner here. Like, this is probably the biggest that's ever been, and it's only mid-May right now, late May. So that says something. I got little trellises that snap onto the gutters I'm gonna put on here and probably pop a honeysuckle or something on it. But that again, that's a future project. I'm working on the stump. It's going, me and two other people have been working on it. So people who are like, oh, that's easy. No, no, this is the most stubborn stump I've ever dealt with. And you gotta remember, you, well, you wouldn't remember this, you don't know, but this was at one point almost to the roof. That's just what's left in those roots. Man, it's got some big roots. Like the pickaxe just bounces off of them. It's not doing anything. I took a chainsaw to it and it burnt the chain. Well, it was an electric chainsaw. Haven't broken out the gas one yet, but it's getting close. I'm getting close to having that thing out of there. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up though. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for hanging out for just another fun filled. Who knows how long this was? Could be really short, could be really long. I don't know. I haven't even attempted to edit this yet. Hopefully it's long, since you guys like the longer vlogs. Hopefully the majority of the video isn't me talking about windshield wipers. I don't know. Like I said, I hope y'all are doing well. Don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. I do appreciate it. And subscribe as well. And hit the notification bell, because I do upload multiple times a week. More often than I will have this past week. This is just a busy week, that's all. I have all my social media links down below, down in the description of the video. Laughing, because my camera won't focus. Follow me and I will follow you back. I'm on Instagram way more than anything else. And comment down below and say hi. I enjoy talking to everybody. This is, I was worried about the tree fern. The big tree fern, looks like it has some damage on it. I need to go check that one out here in a minute. Things are kind of wet and swampy over there. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. <laughs>